It's Reggae Media TV. Today, Vibes Cartel release a weed song titled What Next. That song will let you picture scenes of what Vibes Cartel is singing about. I know a lot of weed smokers can relate to this one. The song already receiving high number of attention it deserves. People are amazed of Vibes Cartel talent. This man is really an alien brain. I'm gonna share my review on this song and give some specific details about it. Vibes Cartel dropped captivating chorus in the song DJing Wake up and me not drink tea yet Afi bona spliff so the damn thing set Face brush, face wash what's next Afi bona spliff so the damn thing set We no play ludi, this a wicked man ends Any boy step cross get a instant death Right there so, two six pants there Afi bona spliff so the damn thing set Vibes Cartel representing for the love of weed saying him wake up, brush him teeth and wash him face then Afi bona spliff so the damn thing set before him even drink him tea I know a lot of weed smokers who do this so Vibes Cartel definitely DJing of experience I know weed smokers who wake up the first thing them have to do before after them wash them face and brush them teeth is smoke and that is just a daily routine for them so them get used to it and do that after them have breakfast vibes cartel dj in the first verse of the song the grabber at than the sun then oh it a go cool put it in the fridge everybody say me fool is <laughs> a reason why vibes cartel say input the grabber in the fridge Probably if you are a weed smoker, you can relate to what Cartel said. When you put grabber in the fridge, it keep it cool because when you expose grabber to eat, it get dry and flaky. You get a better smoke from it when it is moist. So that's why Vibes Cartel say, him put the grabber in the fridge so it can keep it cool. Vibes Cartel put people in the state of mind that he is a school as by DJing in this part of the first verse. Me bun it in a me class, them smell it and me clothes. Sir say Adija, you fi go back home. If you don't bring your mother, don't come back at the school. Me say, hey, Mr. Earl, Prince Sia, what do you? You fi know I'm a star and how it a go prove. When you see me pan your TV, pan YouTube, then jump back in the chorus, DJ. Wake up and me no drink tea yet. Afi bona spliff so the damn thing said. Vibes Cartel move on to the second verse which is more lyrically than the first verse. The first verse is more like a catchy verse. Vibes Cartel DJ mix up the grabber with the load. Everybody feel proud. Where you get them grades there? I must a school book. When Vibes Cartel DJ mix up the grabber with the load, in basically I say he mix up the grabber with some strong weed normally when you hear people talk about load pop them talk them talking about weed but vibes cartel shot it in his song vibes cartel getting a lot of credits for bigging up every weed girls vibes cartel has a big up every weed girls vibes cartel love uno. vibes cartel get a lot of credits for that line especially from the females who smoke weed so i guess vibes cartel is closing off the ear with a next weed song Earlier this year, we see Vibes Cartel release a song called The House Abundon. The House Abundon, Abundon. Only remember that one. Now, Vibes Cartel will take it to them again with another weed song called <coughs> What's Next. Yeah. So, people, let me know which one you know rather. The House Abundon or this new one called What's Next. I'm not lie, the two weed songs bad, but. Which one do you think are the better weed song Vibes Cartel released in 2016? The House Abundant or this new one called What's Next? Vibes Cartel is also known for other sick weed songs like High Altitude. The one Vibes Cartel did with Bounty Killer, BBG and Dan Carleone. When I smoke, I get so high. That one so. A long time Vibes Cartel, I get him inspiration for the weed song 
through weed I guess another big weed song from Vibes Cartel but then was a song called Mari short term for marijuana and that song have something unique about it that song it was different from the rest of songs Vibes Cartel the rest of weed songs Vibes Cartel put out it's like Vibes Cartel sing a love song to a marijuana and enough people did kind of find that what now innovative them did find it creative since this new song dropped from Vibes Cartel people now just give the lyrics and Vibes Cartel credits them also give the quality of the song credits so big up TJ records for this one me see where some people all say the quality too good for prison you see it because them as a vibes cartel are recording a prison them say this song no sound like it record in prison it sound like it record in a studio i hope vibes cartel keep up this momentum going over into 2017 because him done set the thing from 2016 and a high pace so going over into 2017 it seems like it will it will be good for vibes cartel career In other news on RM TV, US Virgin Islands native Pressure Bus Pipe scores his first entry on the Billboard Reggae Album chart this week with Red Rose Album, which debuts at number 8. The album release on the 2nd of November under Jalpo Records slash Boss Pipe Records. The 12th track album is a follow up of the artist's 2014 release called The Sound. This is the 6th album from the artist Pressure Boss Pipe. You can check it out if you are a reggae fan, you can go check it out. All Pressure Boss Pipe fan. The album contains songs such as Time is the Master, Once Again. Lost Without You, Woman of Nile and Moments. Pressure Boss Pipe is known for his hit single, Love and Affection. A lot of people can relate to that one from back then when Pressure Boss Pipe was doing a lot of work with Dan Carleon. Now, Pressure Boss Pipe album Red Rose it a bloom on the Billboard Reggae Album chart. Elsewhere on the chart, last week's number one live at red rocks by california reggae band revolution that band is doing well also i don't know if you hear about them but internationally they are going good this their album falls at number two the quartet retains the top spot with falling into place moving up to two spots to number three is stick figure with set in stone on the billboard reggae album chart while Beanie Man's Unstoppable falls to number 4. Okay, so that's a wrap, people. Bless up once more. Big up for tuning into RM TV. Remember to subscribe for the latest in entertainment, dancehall, reggae, and even current affairs as well. So, big up. Have a great day. Thank you.